Joining us live now, Oakland City Councilman Noel Gallo. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Night after night, we're seeing violent crimes on Oakland City streets. I'm just going to be blunt, Councilman. What is going on in Oakland? You know, that's uh, certainly the violence, uh, the robberies have increased tremendously. And, and uh, but we are pursuing the action that we need greater cooperation when it comes to public safety. Public safety in any city and any government should be the priority and must be the priority. And we've gone as far as saying that it's an emergency. So we need all, all the assistance that we can get. I am reaching out to the sheriff department. I am reaching out to the highway patrol. And I have included to reach out to the BART police and all the law enforcement agencies that I have traveling the streets in Oakland but when it comes to dealing with violence, sometimes there's a lack of cooperation between governmental bodies. Sure, everybody does. The county does. And, and the city, and that needs to change. I mean, we've been here before, mm -hmm. and what made a difference, what brought it back to a, a safety community was having the cooperation of the highway patrol. We do have streets like International, that's a state highway, mm -hmm. and, and also having the sheriff department because we are part of Alameda County. I pay their, through my tax dollars, I pay all their salaries. But what you see in Oakland today, there's a lack of cooperation between governmental bodies to provide for the safety of Oakland. I just left uh, uh, East 15th Street with the prostitution out of control in front of people's residence. And uh, so we are making an effort to bring these, these uh, police efforts together to address the violence issue, but also not just them, but at the other side, we have many violence prevention organizations and efforts. So we need to be yeah. unified to address the issue. Well, that follows up on the next question, because yeah, it's, it's you say you won't put more officers on the streets, but that doesn't right. always fix the problem. Sometimes it's just a Band-Aid on a much bigger issue. So what do you think is the deeper issue that's going on in your city that needs to be addressed? Well, you know, the, the issue, it needs to be a community effort, not just about policing. I mean, my, my parents right now, my schools are also complaining because they want more police presence at the school sites because my parents are afraid they're going to lose their children on the way to school. And, uh, and so policing is one thing. Our police department here in Oakland is short staffed. They're at 681, 82, where they should be at 782. And so we're trying to get to those numbers with the academies, but in the meantime, in the meantime, we do need uh, the support from the community to make sure that our neighbors are able to report the activity uh, clearly, because I was over on dealing with prostitution and nobody wants to get involved because they're afraid of the repercussion. And, uh, but, you know, I do need to, if I need to call the State Department for the National Guard, well, that's what I got to do. I mean, I'm able to send billions of dollars around the world to protect other neighborhoods, but I can't protect mine with my taxpayer dollars. Yeah. So I have made a call out to the to the State Department to see if they can help us directly with financial support. But at the same time, if I got to have the federal officers on our streets like we used to, then that's what I got to do yeah. to protect my children. It's just insanity there on the streets, yeah. and it doesn't have to be that way. All right, Councilman yeah. Gallo, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.